Um, we're speaking with Ian Telfer, the chairman of the board for Goldcore, one of the world's largest corporations, and uh, the recently in um, inducted member of the Canadian uh, Mining Hall of Fame. First off, how do you feel being inducted into the Canadian Mining Hall of Fame? Very proud, very thrilled, very honored. Uh, it's got such a great group of inductees in there already. I'm happy to be associated with them. Now, we all know that gold's gone through a fairly tough stretch in the last couple of years. Um, how's Gold Corps managing this? What's, what's your strategy for pulling through this? Well, Gold Corps has been very fortunate. You know, our costs are among the lowest in the industry, and at current prices, uh, I would say that uh, we're, we're making money, but we're not having any fun. But, uh, you know, we can still do okay at $12 to $1,500 gold. Now, I, I heard your uh, president and CEO, uh, Chuck Jeans, I believe, say that the end of, e of easy gold is over. Yeah. What, is, what, the, is, what does uh, Gold Corp mean corporately by that? Well, what he means is that in the current gold price environment, or even slightly higher gold price environment, there are not a lot of new gold mines being found. There's not a lot of gold mines being found that are going to be able to make any kind of a significant return at these low gold prices. So he's saying that days of easy gold are over, and his view, and I think I agree with him, is that I don't imagine we will ever see as much gold produced in a year as we did this year and last year. I think it's down, the production is going to head down, and there go, there go, therefore no easy gold. Okay. Now last year, uh, Goldcore uh, put in an offer for Osisco. Right. Will there be other similar type offers uh, in the future? Well, I mean, if you look at the history of Goldcore, we're always buying new ore bodies, either in production or in development or past exploration. We don't like to buy them until they've been pretty much explored. And so, yes, we're always in the market for new opportunities. Stuff. And I guess you've got uh, probably the the prize of Canadian gold mining right up in uh, Red Lake. Right. Uh, what's the next step? Well, the next step, I mean, it's you know, it's a 400,000 ounce producer. Uh, we've expanded it with the development of this ocean oil ore body. And uh, we expect Red Lake to run for decades ahead and uh, to still be, you know, one of the greatest mines in Canada. And I would be remiss, since I am from Timmins, uh, how are things going with the Hollinger? Uh, I mean, it's all moving forward. We're very happy with our progress there. Uh, we love being up there, and uh, we're always looking for ways to extend the mine life and, and keep it going longer. Well, um, uh, Mr. Telford, thank you very much. I know you're very busy, and I really appreciate having the opportunity to, uh, to interview you. My pleasure. All the best. All right. Bye-bye now. Take care. Okay. So you said last one. Young lady from Northern Ontario Business with the local newspaper.